Hey everyone, welcome back to Smart 4 Home. Today, we're going to tackle a common issue that many Acer laptop users encounter, the need to perform a factory reset. Whether your laptop is running slow, you're experiencing software glitches, or you just want to start fresh, a factory reset can be a helpful solution. So, let's dive into how to factory reset an Acer laptop. Section 1. Preparing for the factory reset. Before we start, make sure to back up any important data, because a factory reset will erase everything on your laptop. You can use an external hard drive, cloud storage, or even a USB drive. Once your data is safely backed up, let's move on to the next step. It's also a good idea to disconnect any external devices like printers or hard drives to avoid any potential issues during the reset. Once you've backed up your data and disconnected external devices, we can proceed to the actual factory reset. Section 2. Performing the factory reset. The process may vary slightly depending on your Acer laptop model, but generally, you'll want to start by shutting down your laptop. Once it's completely powered off, press the power button to turn it back on. As your laptop starts up, keep an eye out for the Acer logo. You'll need to press a specific key or a combination of keys to enter the BIOS or boot menu. Common keys include F2, FTN, or Dell. Consult your laptop's manual or check the Acer website for the correct key for your model. In the BIOS or boot menu, navigate using the arrow keys and look for an option related to system recovery or factory reset. Again, the exact wording might differ, but it should be something along those lines. Once you've located the factory reset option, follow the on-screen instructions to confirm your decision. This might involve typing a confirmation code or selecting yes when prompted. After that, your laptop will begin the factory reset process, which may take some time. Section 3. Post-reset steps. Once the factory reset is complete, your Acer laptop will restart, and you'll be prompted to set it up as if it's a new device. Follow the on-screen instructions to choose your language, region, and other preferences. Finally, don't forget to reinstall your essential applications and restore your backed up data. This is also an excellent time to make sure your system is up to date by checking for software updates. Conclusion. And there you have it, a step-by-step -step guide on how to factory reset your Acer laptop. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing for more tech tutorials. If you have any questions or if there's a specific topic you'd like us to cover, let us know in the comments below. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.